Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to start with the next new concept, time. And under that, we are going to see the topic daily routine for class 1. Before understanding why is the topic daily routine included under time, let us first understand about a day. A day in anybody's life can be split into two parts basically, day, time, and night time. Do you see the word time there? This is the reason this concept is mainly included under the topic time. During daytime you have sunlight and during night time you have moon. The daytime and night time can be once again split into two categories each. Daytime can be categorized as morning and afternoon. Night time can be categorized as evening and night. Now that we have the knowledge of the split of the entire day into four different parts, morning, afternoon, evening and night, let us now understand what are the daily routine activities that you do in these four different parts of a day. Let us first begin with morning. What do you do in the morning? We wake up in the morning. As soon as you wake up, what do you do? We then brush the teeth. The next activity that we do is take a bath. Once the bath is taken, we then pray to God and have breakfast. Then we get dressed up and go to school and study. So the entire morning session of a day can be split into these activities. These are all called as routine activities that happen during the morning part of the day. Next let us see what and all the children do during the afternoon part of the day. In the afternoon part of the day, we have lunch at school. Next, if you are in the school still, after the lunch, you study in school. In some cases, after lunch, children return back to home or they have lunch at home. But general routine is, during the afternoon time, we have lunch. And if you are in school, you study in school. After the afternoon session, once the evening comes, children go back to home from school. Once they reach home, they refresh and change dress. After that, they have snacks and drink milk. So we have seen the routine activities which happens during the morning, afternoon and then once in the evening arrives, these are the activities they do in the evening. It is not yet over. After snacks and drink milk, children go out and play. After that, once the playtime is over, they return back home and wash hands and then settle down to do homework and study. With that, the evening routine comes to an end. Once the night sets in, which is also a part of the entire night time, both evening and night are part of the night part of a day. We saw that in the beginning. During the day part of a day, we have morning and afternoon. And during the night part of the day, we have evening and night. We saw the routine activities during the evening. Now we are going to see what and all we do during the night. Once the night sets in, we have dinner. And after dinner, we go to sleep. So this completes the entire routine of activities which is done during a day. So do you now understand why this topic is included under the concept of time? Because during daytime, we have few activities and during night time, we have few activities. And it is important for children to know these routine activities. And once they are aware of this, we can frame several activities for them to do. Now, let us go to the first activity. Pick the activity done in the morning. So here, I have given you a picture showing children who are playing. So go out and play is the activity here. Another child 
is dressed up and is going to school to study. Of these two, which is the activity which is done during the morning time? Go to school and study is the correct answer. So put a tick inside that box. Next activity. Tick the activity done in the afternoon. So here we have a child praying to God and having breakfast. Another child is going to sleep. And another child is having lunch. So of these three, which is the activity which is done in the afternoon? Yes. Having lunch is the activity which is done in the afternoon time. Do you find the activities interesting? Let us do another activity. Tick the activity done in the evening. A child is going to school to study. There are a few set of children going out to play. And another child is waking up from the bed. Of these three, which is the activity done in the evening? Yes, go out and play is the activity which is done in the evening. Now that the children are familiar with the activities, we can give them the next type of activity called as sequencing the activities. Dear viewers, I am very happy that you are watching my video. But see, I have watch time from subscribers which is very less. I have only 1.9% of the people who have subscribed to my channel and nearly 98.2% of the people have not yet subscribed to my channel. It costs you nothing people but then it really adds a value to my channel. So I request you to subscribe to my channel and add more value to my channel so that I will be giving you more interesting videos for all the topics in class 1 to 5 maths. Let us start with the sequence the activities now. Here we have a family having dinner. Another set of children playing is the next figure that we have here. The next activity is a child sleeping. Another child washing its hand is the next activity. Another child doing the homework is the last activity. I would like to put these activities in sequence now. So what could be the correct sequence? Going out and playing, once returning back, washing the hands will be number two. That is the next activity to be done. After washing hands, doing homework is the next activity which is number three. After three, which is the next activity? Having dinner is number four. And after dinner, it is going to sleep which is activity number five. Dear viewers, these were all the activities which was there in the routine activity sequence for evening and night. I have jumbled up and given so the children will have to identify what will be the first activity in sequence and the next activity after it and this improves the logical thinking and sequencing skill for the children. We can frame many more such interesting activities. I have tried another one over here. First, we have a cake with a candle. We have a child bringing presents for the birthday. Next, the cake is cut. The next activity given is a boy eating a cake. Here we have a picture of a child blowing the candle. And the last picture is another girl bringing presents for the party. So, let us try to put this activity set in a sequence now. So, what will be the first activity? The cake with the candle will be sequence number one. What will be the next sequence? To blow the candle will be the next activity. After the candle is blown, the cake is cut, which is the third activity. After the cake is cut, the next step is to eat the cake, which will be activity number four. Then five and six can be interchanged because we have two girls bringing presents. Anything can be 5 and 6 in this case. So we can frame several such interesting activities and make the child think and put the numbering accordingly. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 1 under the concept time for the children to learn. Of which we have completed the first topic daily routine. Next we will be seeing calendar facts, clock and do the time worksheet. Each of these topics will be dealt with in separate videos and links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box 
we have make an easy axis. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new interesting videos that I make in my channel. See you again.